In Montreal's Old Port, this space has been transformed into a drop-in centre for people experiencing homelessness. And today, it's where some got their first dose of the vaccine. They're among the most vulnerable people in society. That is a good enough reason. Mark Paquette says he's been worried about catching the virus. Because I'm homeless and the fact that uh, um, other people may have it and you don't even know about it. So getting that first dose was reassuring. Montreal has prioritized about 500 doses for people who are homeless and some shelter staff after a number of outbreaks. They move around, so they're mobile. They don't have any place where they can go and self-isolate. Sam Watts runs a downtown shelter and says the pandemic adds a layer of complexity to homelessness. He says the recent case of Rafael Andre, a homeless man found dead in a portable toilet, underscores the system's failures. In Toronto, there's a similar pilot project, beginning with vaccinations for about 80 people at a shelter. The risk of complications is high. Dr. Stephen Huang says that's in part because of the number of seniors in the shelter system. We also know that uh, people who are homeless uh, have a very a much higher rate of uh, chronic health conditions like heart disease, high blood pressure, diabetes. He says there will be challenges like bringing people back for the second dose and overcoming the mistrust some have in the healthcare system. Tanya Martin has been using a shelter in Montreal and got her shot yesterday. It's good because we're basically 35 women cramped into one house, so we're all close proximity. It's good that um, we're getting vaccinated and it, it's positive to me. Um, I, I'm hopeful about it. Montreal's plan only covers a fraction of the city's homeless population, but advocates hope it's just a start. Alison Northcott, CBC News, Montreal.